I, uh, I've been, I receive at this point in my life uh, about 20 emails a day. Of those 20 emails, at least 15 every single day are from people I've never heard of telling me about miracle breakthroughs in the treatment of erectile dysfunction <laughs> and premature ejaculation. Uh, somehow, word seems to have got out on the internet <laughs> that the DOD's got a few problemos. <laughs> And the people always have slightly boner-centric names as well, like Rod O'Toole, <laughs> Barton Woodcock, <laughs> Woody Bulger. <laughs> I used to look uh, at the internet a lot. I used to waste a huge amounts of my life um, looking at the internet, but then I realised that if you ever look at the internet for more than five minutes, it's because you have more important things you should be doing. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's procrastination, really. And, uh, and uh, I, am, I am one of the world's leading procrastinators. <laughs> if procrastination was an Olympic event, I wouldn't even turn up that day. I'd find <laughs> all this stuff that was actually more important than it that I should have been doing. Last year, I finished the internet. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done that, but a, a picture of Bill Gates comes up and you get to enter your initials. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what is 60% of all uh, internet traffic is, is porno related, which, which I think is very interesting because of the effect that that will have. Maybe not on, on, on our minds, but on future generations, just because internet porn resets your sexual norms and you can never get back to the way you were before. Like, like uh, you know, for me, I vividly remember the first time I held hands with a girl, the first time I kissed a girl, they're huge moments in my life. But maybe for future generations, because the internet, it'll be different. It'll be like, do you remember the first time <laughs> we dressed in PVC and weed on a swan? <laughs> <laughs> Great days. <laughs> This, this, for me, uh, sums up the influence of the internet on our, on our lives. Uh, my friend Jenny got flashed at, actually not far from, from this residence. Uh, she was walking along Waterloo Road uh, at night, and uh, an old man jumped out from behind a tree, and he went, here, check this out, like that, uh, with his Mickey in his hand. And she wasn't taken aback in the slightest, though. Her immediate response was, is it all right? <laughs> I think she thought maybe he'd slammed it in a car door or something. Here, check this out. I think I'm going to knock the end off. <laughs> but it's very hard when you're a flasher and someone second guesses you like that. There's nowhere to go, really. You know, is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Oh, did I have it out? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Technology, where technology starts to, I mean, it's all well and good up to a point, but where it actually starts to call your shots, I think that is, that's the danger point right there. I mean, uh, a friend of mine got a new mobile phone recently, an Alcatel mobile phone, and all mobile phones have, they're called template text messages on them. They're pre-written text messages. They're like, I'm in a meeting, call me in an hour, for the busy executive who doesn't even have time to text. Uh, well, uh, this phone has one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. At the very bottom of the pre-written text messages menu is this gem. The child is ill. <laughs> now, let's all of us for a moment try and imagine a scenario in which that is the case. And it's not worth just a quick call. You know, I mean, I mean, she's always getting sick and my credit is pretty dicky at the moment. <laughs> I was raised uh, in a very sort of, uh, with a negative attitude towards technology, let's just say. My father famously wouldn't buy us a computer when we were children because it's a fad. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this before, yeah? With the skateboard, <laughs> with the Lolo ball. My, my mother, my mother has recently embraced technology in kind of a weird way. My mother has, has started texting, which is a huge breakthrough. But uh, my mother has taken to texting quite literally like a duck to texting. <laughs> <laughs> she texts all in capital letters. So it's like she's shouting at you. <laughs> Using a system of abbreviation that the Enigma code breakers of the Second World War would have been proud of. 
see on its own can mean did you see it can mean can you see it can mean could you come over it can mean could you cut the grass can mean your nephew Connor so after any text message I have to ring her up and ask her what it meant <laughs> thus undoing the idea of the text message in the first place my mother has a very suspicious attitude towards the internet and it goes back to the first time I ever showed my mother the internet which is uh, about 1999 it's very hard to explain something as abstract as the internet to someone like my mother. So it's, right, mum, this is the internet. Think of anything and the internet will find it. And immediately mum is, um, my watch with the red strap? <laughs> no, no, mum, no, no, no. Think of, like, stuff, yeah? And, uh, oh, shit, is that all right? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, I thought uh, the stage was about to collapse or something, and you were actually holding it up. I, that would have been amazing if, in order, because the show was going to go on, you actually crawled under the stage and just assumed a kind of a continue with the whimsy. <laughs> She's a very, and it goes back to the first time I showed her the internet. And, uh, uh, so, so uh, I, no, 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 mum. Think of like stuff. And at that point, Florence the Cocker Spaniel comes in with her ball in her mouth and she looks up at us and mum goes, all right, um, Cocker Spaniel balls. <laughs> and me like a big internet rookie goes, huh, well, let's just see if there is. Uh, what's that, mum? <laughs> Three million websites. <laughs> Let's select one at random. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> there was a man at a cocker spaniel, and it wasn't the sort of thing that you would win crufts for. Um, and that is now rubbed up, and she thinks that that is all the internet is. Whereas, in fact, that's only a good three quarters of the internet.